Hi everyone and welcome to the introduction of the LPDA 500 antenna from, from pointing. What is our LPDA 500? So this is our newest addition to our LPDA range. This is a ultra wide band antenna. It operates from 600 megahertz all the way to 7200 megahertz with a significant high peak gain performance of 11 dBi across all the frequencies. It is a size two antenna, but you can do a 2x2 two two MIMO configuration by installing two of the LPDA 500s. And it does come with a complete unique bracket design, new bracket design that allows the antenna to be rotated in 45 degree intervals. And what makes this antenna ideal is, is it's, it's perfect for failover, failover installations or, and it can be used in virtually any environment. It's a, and on that environment, it, it can be used for any, any vertical. So ideally urban and rural, also farming and agricultural and commercial industrial applications. And then also mainly in in the, in the commercial industrial areas can be used for oil and gas and in mining and tunneling. Because uh, what makes this antenna so ideal is because it is a solid cast aluminium base boom. So it's just the boom and the radiating elements are on a one cast, cast piece. So it won't uh, degrade with time or have to worry about it, the elements coming loose or being degraded. So it can be used in virtually any environment. We've sold a lot of our previous LPD-92 in, and they've been in extremely uh, cold conditions in, in in the North Pole where they actually use them, and then also in Dubai. And yeah, they've been in the field for 10, 20 years and still operating. So where does it actually operate? So you can see this antenna is, it's not a band specific antenna, it's an ultra wide band antenna. It's operating from 600, 6.7 megahertz all the way to 7200 so it does cover uh, all the current 5g and 4g bands of interest and also wi-fi so wi-fi 2.4 gig wi-fi and also 5 to 7.2 gigahertz uh wi-fi so making it ideal for wi-fi 6e as well for future future proof applications um yeah so this antenna can be used for virtually any application any frequency or or use case. So what is the what's the history of the LPA and pointing? Because uh the LPA has been with pointing for quite a long time. Our we began with our original pointing LPA was introduced in 2002. So 24 years ago and were and worked from 698 to 2.2700 megahertz. And then we were later updated to a 3800 megahertz. But at that time it was the only operation I well, will Cellular coverage you had was 2G, but we designed it to go up to up to 3G because for, for that time it was still it was actually quite future proof. Uh, and then that antenna was was future proof for its time, and we have sold more than 150,000 units since then. So it's and it's we've just had customers coming back for more and more because it's just a working antenna and can be used as mentioned anywhere. So we thought, okay, well it, the current one is is still performing really well. But we know that future te uh, technologies are, are, require wider bandwidth. Uh, so we came up with the LPA 500, which will be the next generation LPA antenna solution, as it now goes from 6.7 to 7,200 megahertz. So it's a complete future uh, size of antenna solution for virtually any application. So ideal for, let's say, repeaters or, or, or the cell boosters. Uh, this will be the, the next generation of, of LPA antennas. And, it is a marvelous antenna. So on, on uh, performance wise, it's fantastic. But on the performance, let's go into what does it actually perform like on, on the measured results? Because uh, with our, with pointing our results that we have here are actual measured results. It's not a, it, 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 there's, no, there's no simulation or anything. These are actual production units that were measured and confirmed and they performed as we expected. So you can see the VWR, you can see the matching is actually perfect from all the way across the entire frequency range. It's not in, in specific bands, it's across the entire frequency range. It's an average of 1.5 to 1 VWR. So, and this is, this is fantastic to see. So, you know, if it can be worked, or this can work across all the frequencies simultaneously. And looking at the gain, uh, the gain doesn't ramp up a bit. It's from the start, from the get-go, from almost, let's say, 700 megahertz, the gain is above 10. And across the entire frequency range, it's constantly above 10, peaking at, at 11, but in the end it goes down to about 8 at 7,200. But I mean, again, is 
it's a high gain, constant, high performing antenna. And uh, yeah, it's it's a fantastic. And it, with the high gain, what it uh, is ideal for. So now we're looking at the patterns, and that's what we're also quite proud of at pointing is that these are actual measured patterns in our, and they, they were me measured in our anechoic chamber. So you can see across the frequency range. So this is our elevation patterns. So this is from the side. You, if you um, if you're looking from the side, how would the antenna radiate? And you can see they've the, across the frequency range. So you have the lower band, 617 to 96.8 megahertz. It's constant, and everywhere there's no side lobes or anything or, or massive back lobes. The the patterns are consistent across all the frequency range. So they were, you won't have any. If you have, let's say mount two back to back on a on a mast, there won't be any interference because I mean the, the front to back ratio on these antennas are are, are perfect, near, near perfect. So yeah, that's uh, that makes it ideal. So if you want to have a two by two MIMO installation, you have one antenna facing towards the one base station, the other one to another one, they won't have any interference. And that's on so this is on our elevation, so you can see across all the frequency ranges frequency bands and then looking at the azimuth so this is on our our top view so if you look at the antenna from the top what, how is the end how is it radiating and you can see as well it's it's a bit of a broader and that's what you want so you don't want to have a very narrow azimuth for direction otherwise it becomes quite sensitive to winds and uh, and weather conditions so you know if you install on a mast it is going to stay fixed to the antenna even if there's a slight wind uh, uh, tilting the angle of the of the of the antenna. So you can see again on all the across the whole frequency range, it is a constant. Patterns are patterns are constant, and it's what you want to see from a directional antenna. And uh, the thing is, we could have got a bit higher gain to make it a bit narrower, the 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 patterns. But we feel we we thought about it and around about ten to twelve dBi is I think the the sweet spot for a directional antenna. If you go too high, then then your beam width on your elevation and your azimuth become they become too narrow, and if there's any slight adjustment in in your antenna, it's as as for instance like environmental wise the the wind or there's a vibration, then it will definitely have a negative impact on the performance of your of your antenna or with your router, and you will have intermittent performance. So that's why we with the 10 to 11, 10 to 12 dBi gain. You have a broad enough beam width so that it is durable to whatever the the outside throws at it. But uh, yeah, so we have our LP ninety two currently, and we now have our LP five hundred. But it is a bit a, a tad bit larger. It's a uh, from uh, one point one meters to one point three meters. So this is twenty four percent increase, or around about twenty centimeter. It's a, it's a tad bit longer. So, and the, and the key part with the LPA 500 is actually this front piece in, in here. And that allows us that front part where it's enclosed to operate from 3,800 all the way to 7,200 because the elements are so, so small, we had to actually cover it up and, and foam fill it because it's also where the, the feed point is to protect it. So the elements are so small that we had to fully enclose it in protecting against the environment and that part is the key part that uh, that makes the LPD 500 perform up to the higher frequencies up to 7200 as whereas the 92 isn't able to to go that far but yeah i can also see the bracket wise we have this unique bracket that can be tilted in 45 degree intervals so either you can either mount a, a two in a two by two or a horizontal and a vertical one or you can do it plus minus 45 for a bit of Cross polarization and, and improved MIMO performance. So in the in, in the, on the bracket, this bracket can allow you to have various mounting options. So you have a, have a, a pole mount option because you get the the U bolts or standards with the antenna. So U bolts are standard included. So yeah, the antenna can be mounted onto a pole and rotating as mentioned in forty five degree intervals. And the antenna can also be mounted onto a and can also be wall mounted. So with knocking screws, which are included as standard with the antenna. So it, um, it, won't be, it can be a fixed fixed installation. So not necessarily onto a, onto a wall, but more on a fixed installation. So that's uh, just a bit of an overview on our Alpine 500 and uh, it's 
And what what are the key selling points, the key takeaways on the operating 500? So it's a, it's an ultra wide band antenna, so operating from 6.7 all the way to 7,200 megahertz, leading with, with being our leading product with 5G, and yeah, it's a with 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 a high gain of 11 dBi across the full frequency range. It's mainly a size pro, but can be converted to a two-way two mile by combining two RPA 500s, as mentioned, and you can have a uh, yeah, cross polarized about vertical horizontal plus minus 45 to just improve that two by two MIMO. It is Wi Fi enabled as well, so it can be used not only for 5G or cellular applications, but also for Wi Fi applications if it is desired. It's ideal for failover or fiber outages, which caters for LTE 4G and 5G, and a unique innovative bracket that allows a 45 degree installation turn. So, yeah, that's a bit of a, an overview on the LP 500. Be sure to uh, Follow us on our social social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you all.